Back here at home, several bridge projects around Kershaw County have led to congestion and questions from drivers on when it will all be over. Our Walker Lawson is on your side tonight with some answers. Well, I think it's concerning, first of all, that we have two bridges in the same county that are in this state of disrepair. Patty Rose is a resident of Kershaw County. She's concerned about the safety of the bridges after learning just before the holiday that the bridge over I-20 settled. DOT halted travel on that bridge back in December and made initial repairs. That project now is continuing in the area, cutting the interstate down to one lane. I understand, you know, things take time. Certainly don't want them to rush this because we would like it done right. So we're not back here in five years. We reached out to SCDOT to learn what's going on. In a statement, they said crews have been working on strengthening the shoulder of I-20 eastbound by removing and replacing the existing asphalt. Once the shoulders have been strengthened, the travel lanes for I-20 will be shifted to allow bridge crews to begin work on the I-20 eastbound bridge that crosses the Watery River. Crews are also working in the median to construct access points for equipment and personnel to operate under the bridges. Further east, crews have continued work on the bridge that needed emergency repairs back in December. The second bridge that's causing concern is right behind me. It is US Highway 1 heading into Lugoff. It's been cut down to one lane now for months, causing traffic to back up as far as the eye can see. Um, there are people that are literally driving down the center of both lanes to prohibit people from passing. Um, tempers are flaring, you know, and nobody knows. And I, if I had a dollar for every time somebody on Facebook asked what was going on with that bridge, I wouldn't have to sell real estate. We requested an update on U.S. Highway 1 from SCDOT, who responded, saying there was no update at this time, deferring us to the last update we got on the project, which was in October of 2023, when DOT sent us a statement saying the lane is closed to allow for emergency repairs. Construction is not delayed. The project is currently in the design phase as the repair plan and schedule are determined. At that time, construction was scheduled to be wrapped in early 2024. Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX. Well, starting next week, next week, I should say, in Irmo, Harvison Boulevard and Lake Murray Boulevard will both be closed at the railroad crossings. We're being told the closures are for CSX to do track maintenance. Road closures are expected to last for anywhere from three to five days.